Hi, thank you for joining me today. In this video, we'll discuss how I designed the airplane that you see right here and what are the design issues that I came across. The job of a wing is to produce an upward lift force equal to the weight of the aircraft. It also needs to be as light as possible in order to not add additional weight to the airplane. Originally, I decided to 3D print ribs for the main wing and then to stack them uh, next to each other and wrap paper on top of the ribs so it would act like the skin of the wing. That was way too hard to make and then I decided to make molds and spray foam into the molds but that was also too hard because the, the foam would stick to the mold so then I decided to 3D print the whole wing and this is the main wing that you see in front of you and the challenge of this was to 3d print it such, such that it's as light as possible for the design of this wing i decided to go with a technique i learned from tom stanton which makes the wing way lighter but this was still an issue because i i was printing the wing out of pla which is a pretty dense plastic and usually people 3D print wings out of lightweight PLA which is only 50% the weight so my wing would still be twice as heavy when compared to what other people could do so because of that I had to make a very large wing in order to lift it to lift itself up and the airplane so I went with a glider design the next thing that I had to design was the propeller the job of the propeller is to generate a thrust force that is equal to the drag that the airplane produces at the speed that it's intended to fly at. So in essence, a propeller generates lift not by moving forward, but by spinning. So it's essentially a wing, but it generates lift differently. And as you can see, the profile of the propeller has a slight angle to it which actually needs to be calculated because the angle uh, needs to be different across different parts of the propeller. And this is a bad design. I designed this in a couple of minutes and it, it's not a great propeller. So I redesigned it and I uh, came to this design. And this is this was designed to be spun by a rubber band. This is the propulsion system for the propeller and the way that the propeller uh, connects to the propulsion system which is basically a rubber band is there was a thread here but it ripped off because I crashed the airplane um, but this would thread onto the thread of the shaft that's connected to the rubber band and this is how it looks from a closer view it's a m3 thread and it's about three centimeters long so it fits into this uh, hole here which which is basically a simple bearing and this is the way that the propeller would fit onto the air, airplane The job of the tail of an airplane is to produce a stabilizing force such that the airplane doesn't divert from the intended orientation. The design I went with is a V-tail design because it re uh, reduces the drag which is great because I don't have much thrust from the propeller. And the profile as you can see it's a symmetrical airfoil compared to the main wing which is supposed to generate lift this isn't really supposed to generate any significant lift so this is why i went with this design and because it also removes a little bit of drag the assembly of the airplane is pretty straightforward the body of the airplane is about a half meter 
a wooden rod it's eight millimeters in diameter and this is the main wing adapter which adapts the main wing to the rod and uh, it slides from the tail of the airplane to the center of mass and then as you can see there is an M3 screw here which you can tighten in order to uh, fix the adapter onto the body of the airplane and this is tight now the thrust section of the airplane is unfortunately glued together so I can show you how I uh, assemb assembled it the tail of the airplane simply slides uh, into place I would recommend uh, gluing it into place but if you don't want to glue it I would recommend uh, fixing it with a piece of tape or something the main wing simply slides into the main wing adapter which I don't know if I can show it to you because I don't have space but it basically slides in there and uh, yeah so this was the whole overview of the airplane the STL files are on my tanks page as of the making of this video YouTube doesn't allow me yet to uh, post links out outside of YouTube in the description so uh, you can search my profile on tanks and you will find them but um, yeah I wouldn't really recommend 3d printing this because if you're a beginner it's a pretty hard project to make but the files are there you can do whatever you want with them in my last video I presented the centrifugal pump and I said that I will use it on my rocket engine but now that I think more about it I don't think I will because I didn't uh, design it uh, using any calculations so I changed the design and I made uh, I started making this centrifugal pump and it's supposed to generate 14 bar at uh, 2000 rpm and have a, a flow rate of about 1 liter per second so I designed this pump using a centrifugal pump uh, guide but that's for industrial purposes so I have no idea if this will actually work so I still need to do a lot of testing on this at lower speed and see if it uh, generates expected pressure at those speeds Okay, so with that project aside, thank you for watching, uh, if you like the video, please like it, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next video, bye.